Static Discharge Damage Are you ready? Customer demands for wireless and high-speed miniaturized products with ever smaller device design geometries are driving development of new electronic components that are extremely sensitive to static discharge damage. The high-frequency, high-speed performance design demands of these products has led to a new generation of components that are much more sensitive to static discharge than components we've had to deal with in the past. Increasingly, we are seeing components enter the market with withstand voltages well below 100 volts, some even in the single-digit range, and this trend is expected to continue. Compounding the component sensitivity situation is the nature of modern high-speed automated electronics manufacturing facilities that make prevention of static buildup and discharge increasingly complex. This has created concern for many manufacturers that are, or soon will be, required to deal with this new generation of Class Zero ESD sensitive components. Experience has shown that introducing ultra sensitive components into the electronics manufacturing process can result in catastrophic yield loss unless appropriate advanced ESD prevention methods are used. ESD damage costs the electronics industry many billions of dollars each year in damaged and degraded parts that cause failures both in the factory and in the field. For today's manufacturers, investment in sound ESD control measures is a real opportunity for improved profit. Manufacturers use documented ESD control programs that specify measures to be taken within company facilities to prevent static discharge damage. While each of these ESD control programs follows industry standards, control plans may be tailored to meet individual company requirements. ANSI ESD S2020, published by the ESD Association, provides guidance on ESD control programs, including administrative and technical requirements. In simple terms, ESD damage can occur in two ways. If a person, tool, or piece of equipment becomes charged, then touches an uncharged electronic part, a static discharge will occur. Or if an electronic part becomes charged, then touches an uncharged person, tool, or piece of equipment, again a static discharge occurs. In either case, the discharge can cause damage to an ESD sensitive part. Keep in mind that you might not feel, hear, or see this damaging static discharge. Where do you need static protection? Anywhere ESD sensitive parts are handled. This can include receiving, incoming inspection, inventory and kitting areas, the production floor including automated and manual circuit card assembly, testing, packaging and shipping, and rework areas. It can also include engineering labs, component distribution centers, and repair centers. The S2020 standard calls for initial and recurrent ESD training for all personnel who might come into contact with ESD sensitive items. 8LC offers comprehensive LearnTech ESD training courses. Click on two objects that repel one another. Right. Click on the components to see the force needed to damage them. 10 volts could cause this high-density integrated circuit component to fail. Although we usually cannot feel or see this small discharge, we can often detect the resulting component damage. Click on the spot where ESD has damaged this component. Right. You can see where the component layer was punctured. If you are using a static dissipative mat, snap the wrist strap to the mat's ground terminal. Correct. In combination with a grounded floor or mat, static dissipative shoes or foot straps provide a controlled path for charges to flow to ground. Everyone who goes into an ESD protected area must know and follow the rules. LearnTech ESD training courses are available in video and computer delivery formats that fully meet the training requirements of ANSI ESD S2020. Are you ready? For more information on our products, please visit our website or give us a call.